You can add a hyperlink into your Articulate Storyline project. So a hyperlink is a link to a web page. What you can do, I've got some text here. I'm just going to highlight the text that says click here, right click, and then go to hyperlink. Put in the link that you want to use. So it's got an example there anyway. The action is going to be when the user clicks on this text. It's going to take them to the hyperlink. So press OK. As you'd expect, the hyperlink has turned blue, and that's how it works. You can now apply hyperlinks to objects. So I'm going to add in a button, but you could do this as a shape. It doesn't have to be a button. It could be just a square or a circle. So I'll add in a button, I'll put some text in there. Click on the object, which is a button in this case. Go to triggers and create a new trigger. And you want the action. So you're going to change the action so that it is open URL slash a file. So click on that. And it works in exactly the same way. So you could do www or just there you go. Google.com. Press OK. And there you go, if a user clicks on that, it's now going to send to the web page. Something to note is that in the preview mode, it doesn't work. But I'll show you what happens. So if I click on click here, the link is not active whilst previewing. And the same here, the link is not active whilst previewing. So you know the button works, and you know that the hyperlink there works. You just don't know if it works where it's going to you know, if it's going to send you to the right web page. So what you need to do, the only way to find out is to actually publish the course. And when you publish the course, that's when you'll find out if it definitely works or not. But you can see how easy it is to create. And that's hyperlinks in Articulate Storyline. If you want to edit a hyperlink, if it's on a button or associated with an object, click on it, and then over on the right hand side you've got the triggers you can see what it's going to. So it's going to open google.com. So I'll click on that and I can type in something different. There you go, that's the new address. If you click on the three dots, you can send it off to a file as well. So it doesn't have to be a web page. Alternatively, you can simply click on the object, delete the trigger by clicking on the trigger, are you sure you wish to delete this trigger? Yes. And then you could add in a new trigger with the new web page that you want to go to. Where we've got the text, and it says click here. I've clicked on this text, this text box, and you can see that there's a trigger on the right hand side. So in the same way, you can click on the actual word as to where it's going to and make a change to it. Alternatively, you could click on the text box, then click on the trigger, delete the trigger, and then notice that the text though stays blue, but the hyperlink underline button is not there. What I would do in this case, because I still want to add something, is highlight the words, right click, hyperlink, and then put in the text as to the location I want to send it to.